Welcome to the Women of Ouija. It's Marla Martinson and Karen Dahlman. So today we're going to chat about silly rules that people come up with to use the Ouija board or maybe rules that they take very seriously because they've read them on the internet um, and maybe they're afraid and they think if they don't do the rules exactly uh, the way they're laid out that something bad could happen and we also want to talk about some things that you can use you know we use some crystals um, and different talismans and things with it so Karen our expert Ouijaologist is going to talk about uh, some of the talismans and things that you can use with the Ouija and then some of the rules yeah, you know, I think um, whatever you believe is what's going to happen. But what you believe is what you receive. So if you believe that you need to have talismans, my guides call them bubbles and beads. But yet they say, if that helps strengthen your work with this energy, then yes, oh my goodness, use the resources at our hands. So, you know, one of the things I like to do is I'll sage. And I often will sage uh, when I go into a space. If I move into a new house, I will sage the corners of the doorway. I'll sage myself if I feel like, there's some negative residue around me. I will say before, sometimes before a session. I mean, it's what you believe. Again, this is not going to save me, but it's going to augment me. It's going to help me feel better in my space because the ultimate goal is to be empowered. Yes. I um, also love to use this crystal here I have. It's a mixture between amethyst and citrine. It's called ametrine. Mm -hmm. And it was given to me uh, at, a, at a store where I did a talk on the Ouija board. And it was, she said it was calling to me, so she gave it to me. And now it's my channeling stone. I use it whenever I work with the energies I channel, whether it's through my mouth or through the board. This has really helped me. And so it's, you know, it's a talisman, but again, it helps strengthen my energy field and it, and it works for me. Often, when I do a session, you'll find me lighting a candle. And so I love my little Buddha here. That's awesome. I have, I have these all over the house, and I will light it. And it's just to remind me, too, of my own light within and to work with the light energies. And so there's various things. You know, I love to wear my necklace, which mm -hmm. this one has, the crystal on it, my Ouija, and then my little shaman helper. Um, and I'll wear them all together. It's just, again, to add, to, again, to augment. These things have no special powers, although they have energy. Everything has energy. It's really me. I get to choose if this energy is going to affect me, and I choose for it to help me. And so if it helps me feel stronger in my communications and in my being a clear channel for this work, I'm going to use them. But what about you, Marla? I know you use certain things I as do. well. I do. I put things all around the board. And I even have my board sitting over on a table now. I have it out because I used to keep it. I used to, because I heard one of the rules is after Ooh. the board, put it away. Don't let it sit up out like it wouldn't be displayed like that. You have to hide it in a closet or put it away. And I would always put it away. But I mm. thought, you know, why not put it out? But I put, a, I put my little angel bell on it. I put a couple crystals on it. And then I have like my little... Saint Charbel, who's a who's a mm. Lebanese saint, he's a Catholic saint from Lebanon, and he's very well known in Mexico because the, some Lebanese, a lot of Lebanese went to Mexico City, uh, and brought Saint Charbel along with them uh, from Lebanon, and he's a healer, and I just love, I connect well with him, so I have him there. I also love to use uh, selenite. It's very oh, angelic. Oh, yes, beautiful. I, I love selenite. I talk to angels on the board, so I love my selenite. It's very angelic, but I'll put some crystals around, and then. Um, yeah, I'll sage and I'll spray. I have some Palo Santo spray that I'll spray on myself. Mm -hmm. And I use this Mellow Mix uh, oil, which has some yeah. lavender in it. And I'll just put it on. It just makes the smell of it makes me know like it's that some spiritual work is being done now. It's just that I, whenever I have put this on, it's kind of like, ooh, the smell of it. It's like, okay, this, yeah. you know. And, you bring uh, up a good point because you put that smell on you or you sage, and it, it takes you into a whole nother environment, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It makes the space sacred. And the whole idea of why you might not have a ritual around this or use these, these talismans or bubbles and beads or augmentation devices is so you get yourself into a sacred space. Yeah. Because if you can enter that sacred space as anybody that does journeying, hypnosis, trance channeling, any of this work, they're going to move themselves into a sacred space and all these things help remind us of that and empower us to do so and then to step out of it and I, I love that you brought up the whole fact that you got to put your Ouija board away I have now 18 boards and they're all on display 
high on my walls. I'll, I'll show. I'll share a picture with everybody soon in the future. But I have a huge wall of Ouija, Ouija wall, and so you can put them away. I do put my boy away that I use all the time. That's just my own thing. I don't really want it collecting dust, mm -hmm. and I I really just like it being separate from the rest of the boards. But the rest of the boards, they're all out in the open. They're on my coffee table. They're part of my display. They're on my wall. It, yeah, and there's. We have them on a mug, and you know, on a necklace yes. and things. So it's. I think that the 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 fear is if you have it out that some demon's going to fly through it and start wrecking havoc <laughs> in your house or something. But I've had mine sitting out, and I have the, and on a mug and stuff. Nothing happens. I don't see yeah. any paranormal activity anywhere. Nothing, nothing at all. So uh, have you heard that? Like, don't leave them out. Yeah, I have heard that. Um, I've heard a lot of different things. I think it's really again preference. Um, mm -hmm. If you if you are fearful of the board, you probably shouldn't be using it at all. Right. But if you want to put it away because it's sacred to you, yeah. then put it away. You know, it depends what your reason is behind it. Just we don't have to get all scared about this. So these are tools. That's all they are. Tools. I want to share with you this really cool artist and, and shirt that I have. It's a it's a t shirt, and this t shirt is so cool. Rick. Rick Shrek makes these. He's oh. also on Facebook under uh, the Ouija Board group, Ouija hey, Board. Rick. And I love this because, yeah, hi, Rick. Um, oh, yeah, never leave locals. the planchette on the board. That's one, too, and I have mine on there. Yeah, I, yeah, and so you know, Rick is having fun with this. Rick is a wonderful collector. He's an excellent artist, and he's having fun with this. You know, he's not following necessarily these rules, he's, but he makes it fun for us, and I wear this shirt. I love this shirt. Let me tell you what these rules say. Yes. One is never use it alone. Shame on you, Marla. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Never play in the graveyard. Shame on Karen, because I've done that many times when I was young. Uh -huh. Never burn it. Right. Oh my God, don't burn them, because you got to send them to me. I will buy your boards from you if you don't want it. Okay. <laughs> don't burn them. Never leave the planchette on the board. Huh? Really? I do all the time. In fact, I have one on there. Oh, it's was just sitting here right now with the planchette on it. And then it says, uh, never ask when you die. Well, I mean, if you want to get into that, I don't know why you'd want to do that anyway. It seems silly. You draw energy to you. Right. And always say goodbye. Now, people tell me, oh, it's got to go to goodbye. Mm -hmm. It's got to hit the goodbye. Well, let me tell you what. When my spirits are done, they stop right here. And I just say goodbye, mm -hmm. and they just leave. That's it. We never go. We never use this. Mm -hmm. So it just really depends on how you use the board and what you created. But these rules are fun. And again, this is such a fun I love that. I'm going to have to get one of those. That's fantastic. You do. Yes. Everybody, you can find Rick Shrek again on, he's on Facebook, and he's also on the Ouija board. Put it in front uh, of your it's face, a, Karen, because this is a split screen. Put it in front of your face. Cause there we go. Yeah. Can you guys see it? Okay. They'll, they'll be able to see it. That is so oh, good. cute. Isn't that um, lovely? I'll, put, weird, the, I'll put Rick's uh, info or where, where they can buy it. Yeah, we'll give link. you a link to where you can get these t-shirts. They're fabulous. But it's that's more fun. And I know people take these seriously. And again, if you take them seriously, then you know what? It's real for you. I'm not going to discount that. Right. If you think that's real for you, then guess what? You What you believe is what you're going to receive. I'm going to keep saying that because you're going to get what you believe. That's what you get. That's how the universe works. You're going to get what you believe. And if you believe that anything's will, these things will hurt you, then you know what? Don't be messing with them. Mm -hmm. For me, I've never had a problem, and I've done all these except for, well, uh, I didn't ask when I was going to die, and I didn't ask, uh, I didn't try to burn a board. How about you, no, Marla? No, I haven't asked for when I'm going to die. I didn't never burn a board. I've never used it in a graveyard. Um, I have left <laughs> the planchette on it. What's the other yep. things? Never. And now, use it alone. You oh, use, use it, it alone. I use it alone. And uh, was there another, one more? Um, always say goodbye. Always say goodbye. Oh, now, I always say goodbye because it's like you're having a conversation with someone. Yeah. You don't just, you and I, when we're going to. Get off this computer. I'm not just going to hang up on you. I'm, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to say Click. goodbye, Karen. It was great talking to you. I'll be so, like <laughs> <laughs> so I do. I say thank you for this communication. I appreciate it. Goodbye. And then I close the space. I say I'm closing the space now, uh, filling the room with white light. And thank you, Archangel Mike, Michael, for standing in protection. And I do. Um, don't just jump right off audio. You know, so that's just kind of like you're trying to be polite. Yeah, you're being respectful. respectful, and I think Marla brings up a great point. Not only do you open it with these rituals or ceremonies you create, you want to close that sacred space. Anybody, again, doing any kind of work that's journeying into the other dimensions and other realms, shamans, again, healers, they're going to always close that space down, too. Yes. You yes. do chakra work, you're going to close your chakras back down. Yes. And that's just that's just a good practice to get into. So, so yes, you could say goodbye. Mine just doesn't move to the goodbye. Does yours move to the goodbye? Uh, so, your no, it moves at the bottom. It doesn't move to the goodbye, but sometimes I'll okay. say, Okay. I'll say good night. I'm gonna go now. I'm tired. Good night. And it'll say to me good night or have a good night. Yeah. Uh, XOXO. 
mirth, you know, or, or goodbye. Sometimes goodbye. Sometimes they do, but sometimes it just goes to the bottom where there's nothing. Um, You've gotten in a good habit, as I have too, to make sure we close the session. And goodbye is a way to close it. So, yeah, it's thank. I always say thank them. Thank yeah, you for thank, your time I today. Thank you. thank you for this communication. Thank you for yes. your messages. You know, they're not just, I mean, I feel they're taking their time. They're, they they're, are. You know. And they're very patient, by the way. They're very patient with us. And they do want to say goodbye. So, so you could say goodbye. Um, but just know that your your planchette may not move to the goodbye, mm -hmm. or it may stop goodbye, or it may my, my energy it just, it just leaves. It just right. lifts and leaves. Yep. Yeah, it just lifts and leaves. And uh, sometimes my mirth, you know, I want to ask. There's been times I've been on the board, and then it's in the evening usually because, you know, I'm working all day. And then sometimes I'm tired, and she's like, and I'll ask a question. She says, not now, Marla. Go get some rest. And I'll <laughs> she says, go to bed. You need to rest. Um, I'll tell you tomorrow. She says that. Very nice. So they have our best interest at heart for yes. sure. That's how you know you've got a good spirit you're talking to. They, they care about you just on that level as well. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I hope you learned something today from this. Um, and then tell us what you do to, when you do your session. Share it below. Let us know. Thanks, And don't you guys. forget to get your get your t-shirts. Get your t-shirts. All right, guys. Bye, y'all. Bye.